Shalom, I'm giving all praise to you. How about Shemiel Shabbat Shemel Kakwadash? And I'm going to entitle the video The Last Few Prophecies. When I'm, what I mean by that is, based upon the scriptures, the understanding that we have of the scriptures, it's, it's obvious that uh, we're in the last few prophecies, or maybe the last two prophecies, major prophecies. You know, one prophecy, and it comes in order. Prophecies come in order. They come, you know, one prophecy takes place, then another prophecy takes place after that. That's in um, the book of Isaiah. Uh, what is that? Isaiah 42 and 9. Oh, and by the way, what you see here is uh, from... Uh, Uh, the RT, Russia Today, Rupley, the Rupley Channel. Um, it's a USA militia members. Which, if you watch this, because I'm just going to loop it, I don't know how long I'm going to do this video for. It says militia members, which look, seem to be, if not all Edomites. 98% of them are Edomites because a lot of them are wearing masks. <clears throat> They're, they um, have their assault, various assault weapons, and they're sending a message to the government authorities. You know, if, if, if this doesn't stop, there will be a civil war. In, in certain parts of the United States and it will pretty much cover all the United States because uh, according to these Edomites, these militias they, they, they read, they all read the Bible you know you should uh, look up uh, Christian identity or Christian identity movement these are mostly Edomites and when you look that up they claim that they're the actual Israelites. <clears throat> they're, they're just not Christians that go to church. They are Christians that they believe that they come, they directly descend to uh, the ancient Israelites. And uh, we here, we say that we, dis we are the descendants of the actual Israelites. And that they were black. Now, if we sat down and had sat down and had an actual debate with them, they would they would act they would lose big time because the scriptures uh, clearly define what the Israelites look like. And that they were people of color, and that's why you got a lot of Edomites uh, that uh, defy what we're saying because they're hurt but they do call themselves following the scriptures and um, and when I say Christ Christians I'm talking about all Christians I'm talking about the Edomite Christians you know, the Bible Belt Christians there's a reason why middle America is, is known as the Bible Belt because it's a heavy Christian Bible thumping um, Bible believing born againers and part of what they believe is a lot of the prophecies unlike the so called black church which is the biggest joke on the planet the black church is a, a, a joke anytime anybody goes to church to, to a black church you're, you're a complete idiot back to the video um yeah they believe that uh they believe the prophecies heavily they know that the prophecies are coming to pass and they they study they actually study the scriptures they know that uh 
the mark of the beast in the book of Revelation that we here at Great Millstone been talking about. That that's the that's the mark of the that's the uh, the microchip technology. But we believe that the uh, V's or the uh, uh, Crown Royale 2020s, whatever you want to call it, that's going to be a forerunner before um, they actually uh, introduce the second part of their agenda, which is the actual chip. That's what we believe, because you have some some people, even in Israel, that claim that uh, that the V or the the uh, uh, Crown Royale 2020 is actually the chip, but like I said, we'll 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 see. But I don't I don't believe I don't fully believe that. But um, they're definitely talking about um making this thing happen through the government and through the military. So one of the reasons why you have. Uh, <clears throat> these uh, militia men which the, which the Constitution speaks about a militia they're defining gun laws but they they they're um defying gun laws and they're going to defy the uh, vet, the um I almost said it the crown the crown royale 2020s too they're going to def define that, and they're, they're going to defy that, and then they're going to equate it to the mark of the beast. So, so Esau, you know, they they know the scriptures. Plus, they watch us too, and and when they watch us, they say, "Well, that's a confirmation." You got the Israelites even teaching that, so it it, it, it must be true. So, there's going to be a great resistance. To what's coming coming down uh, the road, you know, it tells you that in uh, uh, Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter, which we always try to get into. We read some of it, but there's always precepts that come in. But we're in that time. We're in the time of of the very last few prophecies. The last major few prophecies is the great chipping. Because when they talk about this, uh, you know, the the Crown Royale 2020, they said, oh, we're going to have 330 million doses ready. So what are they saying? That they're going to get everybody. They don't care if you're a, a politician. They don't care if you're the president. And then you'll probably have the president actually do it on TV to show that that he got it, and they're pushing the uh, the fact that the uh, under the underclass, which is all of a sudden they have a love for the underclass, for the for the they call it the blacks, the browns, the Latinos, and the uh, Native Americans, which they and that proves that those are the tribes because they're focusing on the tribes. Why? Because the elite know who the tribes are. The tribes are the people of North Central and South America of Indian and Negroid descent also scattered around the whole planet earth the children of Israel the, the nation of the nation of Israel the sons of Israel that's the biggest nation on the planet earth because we're so big they refer to certain tribes as a nation so you know that's going to be the fulfillment of uh, Hosea 1 verse uh, 10 on down verses 10 and 11 we're going to be as the sand of the seas and the uh, stars of the heaven that cannot be numbered or counted. So this is the great, uh, the great gathering, the great awakening. But the only ones that will be elect are the true servants of the Most High, which are the uh, elect of the Most High, which starts with the 144,000. Now there was a video of 
the Johanna, General Johanna of the ISUPK that pretty much spoke about the uh, the V or the Crown Royale 2020 that uh, he said that you would be a fool not to take it. And then he um, spoke about the mark of the microchip and he said that uh, it's foolish that people think that the microchip is a mark of the beast. Which when I heard that, I said, yeah, this man definitely sold out. He knows exactly what the mark of the beast is. Now the, now the men that are under him, you know, which tells you about the followers of the ISUPK, that they blindly uh, follow this individual just like they blindly follow um, so-called uh, name uh, Bishop Nate. Yeah, I went to one video, recent video that Nate did, and I did a counter on it, entitled, uh, what was it, The Mother of Harlot is Not uh, the Roman Catholic Church, which is a counter to his video that he made, and I went back to the video that he made, and I checked out the uh, comments, there was a bunch of comments, it had to be, I don't know, if not 50, 50 or more comments in there and um, there was no scripture. There, I think there was one comment with a scripture but the rest of the comments, they sounded like Christians, you know? But anyway, um, the last a few prophecies that will come to pass before the kingdom is established, well the kingdom of heaven is a prophecy anyway. You know, when we're, we're in, we're, when we're in the kingdom, that's going to be a fulfillment of prophecy. When the Lord comes back, that's going to be a fulfillment of prophecy with the angels. Uh, Daniel twelve. Uh, the time of Jacob's trouble is a prophecy. The, the 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 time of Jacob's trouble will come in when they go to administer the uh, uh, the crown royal twenty twenties and the microchip. And they're planning uh, a um, global reset where they're going to change the money to all digital. So when you buy and sell, you can't buy and sell except you, ha except you have the mark, which is the microchip. So the last few prophecies is them trying to push the V and people in America and around the world will resist it. They will resist the military. They will resist the police. Well, the police is out the picture. They, now they got the military is going to be involved. There's going to be a time where you're going to see the military trucks all over the place. You're going to see uh, military men with their um, assault weapons, their, their, their rifles, whatever whatever weapon that they use. They're going, to, they're going to be up in the streets, which is a form of intimidation. That's why... Uh, Trump spoke about uh, Operation Warp Speed because they're planning on doing it in 24 hours. So what they're going to do is they're going to, you know, bash your doors in. They're going to pull over cars, and they're just going to, you know, give you that um, the V. <coughs> it's going to be like out of the scene of the movie um, Contagion. With this guy, Matt Damon. He was the lead character. And we're coming to this time, man. We're coming to this time. They're not going to have nurses and doctors come out there and knock on your door because people are going to say no. They might jump them or whatever. But when they do it with the, with the military, you know, you can, you can either get this needle or you can get, you can get what's in this uh, assault weapon. You know that's that great flood in um in um Job, the thirtieth chapter. As a matter of fact, I'll read that and I'm gonna close. Uh, Job thirty verse twelve on down to ah, uh, let's the sixteen I guess. 
It says, um, upon my right hand, raise the youth. They push away my feet and they rise up against me the ways of their destruction. Now that's referring to what's getting ready to happen. The military. The military are young people. people military people, they get their marching orders. They, they, they're in their 20s. Late teens, early 20s. The commanders, the higher ranking officers are usually in their 30s. So they're going to so they're gonna come in they're gonna come in. They're gonna move in fast, like like the flood, like a flood. And, and um, Revelation the twelve chapter tells you that. <clears throat> and this is not. This is gonna be no different than what Antiochus Epiphanes did when he ordered the Israelites not to keep the Sabbath, not to circumcise their children. And if you circum, if the women circumcise their children, they will kill the woman and hang the babies. So they they're gonna show their horns, man. Revelation twelve verse twelve. They shall come down having great wrath. The devil shall come down uh, on you having great wrath that he had but a short time. <clears throat> he knows his kingdom is coming to an end. It says uh, thirteen verse Job thirty verse thirteen. They mark my path. They set forward my calamity. They have no helper. They, 14 verse, they came upon me as a wide breaking of waters, which is a flood. In the desolation, they rolled themselves upon me. You know what one term term is? Let's roll out. That means they 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 come they coming they coming for a mission. And they ain't gonna stop if they got to kill people along the way or imprison people. They're going to do that. They're going to force it on people. 15 verse. Terrors are turned upon me. They pursue my soul as the wind. And when and my welfare passes away as a cloud. My welfare is uh, you being protected. You're not going to be protected. What does it say in Revelation, the, third, the second chapter, in the tenth verse? The devil shall cast some of you into prison. And prison is a concentration camp. Sixteen verse. And now my soul is poured out upon me. The days of if affliction have taken hold upon me. The days of affliction is the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, Daniel, the 12th chapter, the first verse, speaks about Michael, the great prince, standing for the children of his people, which are the Israelites. That goes hand in hand with Revelation 12, 12 and 1. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels. The dragon represents Esau, the military. And remember, the mark of the beast will be administered to the whole planet earth so you know you really should be you, you shouldn't fear you should look forward to it man you should look forward to what's going to happen because the kingdom of heaven will not be established unless and until these other prophecies take place At the time of Jacob, you ask yourself, are we in the time of Jacob's trouble? No, nope. we're coming to the time of Jacob's trouble. And in the midst of the time of Jacob's trouble, that's when, when the elect, the, the servants of the Most High, will be delivered. And then the destruction of Babylon the Great. The mother of harlots is Babylon the Great. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Let's on to the next one. Shalom.